there are many Indias. There is a very progressive India, there's a very backward India, there's a very enlightened India, there's a very primitive India. I think women also find spaces and roles and responsibilities which are very, very different in each one of these Indias. India is a country of paradoxes. We have a country which has produced Indira Gandhi, a Prime Minister who studied in Cambridge. But we still have in the villages 40 to 50 percent of the women are illiterate and they are taken out from young age because they are girls. Many homes also you can see the first preference will be given to the boy child. Even when they are given to the same education, he will be given a vehicle, she will be travelling in a bus. The man has always been the breadwinner of the family and the, the thought and the concept of a woman being able to play that role is still very alien. And I guess that's the reason why even middle class families and educated families still are sort of caught up with this sort of sun mania or whatever you might call it. If you go a little bit further into the religious dogmas, even in terms of the death of a parent, a man or woman would not go to heaven or would not be allowed to move on to the next world uh, unless his son lit the funeral pyre. From the time a girl is born, the first thought is marriage and dowry. The very survival of the woman in the matrimonial home is subject to the kind of dowry she brings, is subject to the kind of gifts she keeps on producing and giving, and her whole right to life revolves around this. So no one wants to invest in a girl. So today what we are really witnessing is a genocide. In the name of technology, female fetuses are being terminated. You have now in modern clinics in the city the practice of sex determination and then the killing of the female fetus. Now this is illegal. It is strongly banned and strongly discouraged. It is a criminal offense. But the problem is that many people feel that having a girl child is just such an inconvenience or that the girl's life will be so miserable that it's worth the risk of going to jail. After one year I got uh, three months pregnant, then I went to doctor, then they told a girl baby. Then I, I, I went to abortion because I don't want to keep a first only girl baby. Girl baby means for 18 years I have to search some boys to get married. I have to make property. That's why I doesn't like a girl's life. It means it's, it's very a problematic life. We have gone to many of these clinics and they tell us that even the judges' daughters-in-law have come for a sex selection test. So what are we talking of? In a study which was done by All India Institute of Medical Science, I think, out of the thousand abortions that took place, 999 were fetuses of girls. Today it is very clear that infanticide is practiced where they cannot afford a sex detection test. When the child is born and it's a girl, it's like a clear act that I have to do away with this child. And very often the woman, she's filled with emotion and the attachment to her child begins with conception. She can't go through with it. This is a grandmother, mother, relatives only. They kill the child. It's horrible because they put the pillow, suffocate the child, or stuff something inside the mouth, including sawdust. Husband It's time that we took the problems of women seriously. We hold up half the sky and 
we get maybe 10% of the share of the world. Women's problems is our problem. So all the women should come together. Till we get united, that the problem will be never solved. Why would you deny a child that you could bring into the world a chance to be the next woman on the moon or to run this country? I mean, it could be the other way around also. For all, you know, in 20 years from now, there could be selective sex determination in favor of a female. So you actually are opting out of male children. Who knows? So what is going to happen? We're going to have one woman having three, four husbands if the sex imbalance continues. As a woman, how can you allow atrocities being done to another of your, of your gender Particularly a little one who is unable to protect herself.